Welcome to Blender Philosophy. The microphone. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the topic for uh, this episode is citizen, and the question, the primary question is, um, what should the um, well, what should the prerequisites for voting in state-based elections be? Something that um, was brought to my attention over the weekend. Uh, I feel like I should just clarify, just for the context of uh, Blood and Philosophy. And then you guys can refer to this video if you like. Oh, wait, what was it again? Fuck. Um, so just in reference to... Uh, subjective truth, objective truth, and absolute truth. So I'm going to use the example of. Could we ask Noah what he thinks those terms? No, it doesn't fucking matter what Noah thinks. This is the context. I'd be really interested this is to see context. what he thinks. I, I don't care. I, this for the context of blended philosophy. Um. So you know we can get dictionary like in your own time, but. That's not a problem. Uh, um, but just for the context of random philosophy, I'll be using um, 1 plus 2 equals 3. So, subjective truth, the number 3 is okay. It's definitely my, my least favourite. Um, least favourite No, le least, least favourite odd digit. Uh, so that's you know is that's one odd or even. That's my own one opinion. Is odd. Is it not a problem? The more you use talk over me, the longer the video is going to be when you have to go, go back to it go. and watch. Um, so yeah, that's my personal opinion, right? Um, objective truth is 1 plus 2 equals 3. That's uh, something that we can, you know, mathematically just... Like, mathematically we can define, we can, you know, just figure it out and then it works. Um, for the... For the purposes of blended philosophy, um, I'm happy to suggest. I'm happy to suggest that, um, say, for example, one plus two equals five. If um, if society is, all agrees that one plus two equals five, um, and that equation function within our society, then the objective truth is 1 plus 2 equals 5. Um, and it's it's just because we don't know any better. So that makes sense. You know, like, we don't have absolute truth on lots of things. We just have really accurate object, yeah. objective truth. Yeah, like, exactly. Well. Um, and absolute truth is, there's the first thing there's another thing, and there's the last thing. That's absolute truth. That's, it's constant, it doesn't change. Um, it doesn't rely on the English language. I mean, I know I, I said it, but I can show you guys visually. It, um, you, you, can't, you can't change it. It doesn't matter your perception. Um, yeah, it's a, uh -huh. It's a, it's a, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Is that, do you ever, guys have any questions? Uh, I think you could do it a bit of clarification. Okay. Um, well, that's not really a question. It's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, how, how do you know when something is absolute truth or objective truth? You yeah, have to measure it. So the very, the very fact of measuring it makes it um, how do you objective. Know that's, 
basically the whole idea of blend philosophy <laughs> is to measure absolutely true. And how do you measure true? Measure in a more abstract sense, yeah. Not as in, like, with a tape measure. Question. Like, measure as in, how do you, yeah. you know, define and... Yeah. Like, have a model of understanding for something. Yes. Not necessarily with numbers. Do you know anything that's absolutely true? See, here's the problem with that question. Um, I don't know if I know something that's absolutely true. I think things that are absolutely true, but I don't know them. So the best I can give you is objective truth. And say, yes, I know some things that are absolutely true. I, But as soon as I say what they are, I'm reducing the truth. If that makes sense. It doesn't. But okay. No, 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 but no. If I get something, um, say, for example, ice cream is the absolute truth, right? Okay. If I physically had ice cream, if then um, I could just point to it and go, "Oh, what's the absolute truth?" I get to point to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but as soon as I describe ice cream, you, so you've got. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying. A predetermined yeah. notion of what ice yeah. is and what cream is and what ice cream is. And yeah. Yeah. Now, so I'm 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 willing to concede that uh, we need English the English language to make yeah. this more efficient. Uh, but this formulation walks straight into the self classification problem. Where I simply ask, is it absolutely true that you don't know anything that's absolutely true? Or is it just subjectively true that you don't know anything that's absolutely true? And you can't... And, and, <laughs> do you it's, see? It's objectively true. So you could actually so know no, something... No, I don't see. So you could actually know something that's actually true. Yes. Yeah. Are we done yet? I think we're done with that. So, we're human beings with limited knowledge, we can't know anything. Nothing's absolutely true, we can only try and be... Oh, no, no, it's the... Repository. No, that is false. What? That. No, 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 yes, it, it is, I agree. That it is false, because that's... But, 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 it's false. but, it's close enough. The part where humans can't know anything that's absolutely true. Because you're saying, unless, oh, because sorry. I would say that then that, that statement that you just made, you think of it as absolutely true, but it, it, you don't know that. But you can only say that. No, I've, I've said, I've said, we don't know anything in the statement. We can't I've said, we can't, we can't have, which includes the statement. the statement. So I'm sort of like, I'm saying that we can only be as close as we can, which would include my statement, which means even though I'm saying like it's absolutely true, I admit that it's only like the closest thing I know. Great, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Matt, catch the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, you missed nothing. You just saved yourself 20 minutes. <laughs> He was the one that said, this is all confusing, you need to clarify this. Oh, no, it well, was Not even here. Um, great. So, what should the prerequisites for voting in state-based elections, well, wait, state-based elections be? Good. Okay. Um, so, I, I would just want to get through something, uh, it should take five minutes at most. Um, so, the second, um, so last month we asked... Uh, I've written here. Uh, should being male be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections? Um, so the obvious uh, thing we need to ask there is, no, so we've said no to that. Um, so the obvious thing we need to ask is, should being fe should being female be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections? Oh right, so that's are, the first are, one. Are you guys ready to vote? Um, yeah, I'm ready to vote. Yeah, I'm ready to vote on that. Okay, cool. Oh, we haven't talked about it. 
Well, that's okay. It's a pretty simple <laughs> thing. Should being female be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections? Great, that's a uh, unanimous vote. Um, Matt's not here, so we're not going to wait for him. <laughs> Wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> Wouldn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Matt, you know, Matt's changed recently. No, but he can only vote. <laughs> no, he's always been late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even if he votes yes, then what? It's three on one. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you reckon he can swing the tide a bit more. <laughs> Rallies and voters. So I first spot in According to Pizza String, being female should not be a prerequisite for voting in state based elections. Excellent. Um, I did have a bunch of other options. So the next uh, secondary question. Is um, how to write things should, in, order in a book. Ah. Should owning land be a prerequisite for voting in state based elections? Now, I think there's good reason for it to be in, in, in certain if society was set up in a way where once you were old enough, and if you were responsible, you would end up owning land. But you know, with the way society's going, you're going to rent land, the government will give you a bit of land to live on, or a shipping container or something. And then... Uh -huh. You have to rent everything in the government. Yeah. So, yeah. Should owning land be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections? That was uh, unanimous. Um, that time we had four votes instead of just three. Okay. Um, <laughs> no standards. <laughs> Don't let any, anyone vote. Yeah. Man, woman. Three's a bit easier because then we can't tie. Mm. Yeah, it's a tie. Oh, that's what I'm doing. It's all, it's all good. Oh, you're the tiebreaker. I'm the everything. I'm the host. So it's three to one. Then. <laughs> well, that, it, that's almost a tie. I'm if it's five, to if it's it. five to none, I'm the tiebreaker. Um, <laughs> Democracy. That sounds like. According, <laughs> according to Pizza Stream, owning land shouldn't be a prerequisite for voting in state based elections. I'm going to get some more Milo. Oh, while oh, you're yeah. up, could you give me some too? Yes. I'll, I'll go a second as well. Should being intelligent be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections? Uh, what are we defining as intelligent? Ah, that's a good question. Well, no, obviously not <laughs> no, an no, IQ. Not <laughs> it's it's not a, uh, don't you remember? I think I've mentioned this before, right. but I do have a, uh, that's a genius, genius. Yeah, that's that's observation that's check. I came out as a genius that, on that. No, you didn't. Not that I'm trying to say that I am. <laughs> It just happened that I was. You did. We've got the footage. You didn't. No, but the time before that, I did. Oh, possibly. And then, you got. So it's not a very good test. <laughs> no, no, because possibly, it... possibly, possibly not a very good test. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. Toolbrew. No, I'm having an off day. I mean, it depends. I mean, not that I'm on the cars. How, how would we define intelligence? Will we use your test? Could do. I think maybe that's a bit too high because yeah. it's to find out if you're a genius or not. Yeah, but true. Maybe that's what we want. Maybe, maybe we want only geniuses, geniuses, geniuses voting in state based elections. No, because yeah, hell, just, I, I give it just that. because you're a really smart doesn't mean you've got common sense. Hey. Buffer time. Mm. Alright. Should intelligence be a prerequisite? One more time. Last, last time. <laughs> Sh shut up, shut up. Should intelligence be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections?
You guys have no standards. Uh, All right. Um, that's two yeses and two noes. What's so what's the any? objective truth of this? Shut up. If it's 50-50. This is I uh, am discovering this. <laughs> Allow me to discover. I thought you guys were like agreeing that. Wow, there's like no objective truth to this things. statement. How can yeah, yeah, they not have truth or falsity? The actual prerequisite. It's the it's the understanding of the prerequisite. The intelligence comes into that. Matt. Oh, I, know, I just can't. Out of time. You can understand <laughs> that. Stop talking. I know we have It sounds hypothetical, hypocritical, but it's not. <clears throat> on the a basis uh, that all people think, and you need to be able to think in order to vote, I'm saying uh, intelligence should be a prerequisite. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying too. Like, not you have to be a genius to vote. Like, there needs to be... Intelligence, understanding, whatever. Yeah, no, no, but that's not that, that's not a prerequisite. Yeah, I think it's so. just no, no, no. It's just you, you're allowed to vote even if you're not intelligent. It's just you're just not able to. That's like oh, saying prerequisite. Yeah. Think, yeah, it's not a prerequisite. You're just unable to. I just clicked yes because that was the closest thing to what we were saying. Then no, right? Like because yeah. we were talking about everyone. Like oh, we shouldn't let people who've got no idea. So like, I voted that. It's, you probably don't understand that. Though. <laughs> no. Like, that's not really absolute <laughs> truth, is it? But actually, that's that's my absolute truth, closest, like, objective. You know, my... Oh, oh no. He's used all of the types of truth. Before the battery runs out, let me say there's no interrupting. According to Pizza String, intelligence should be a prerequisite for voting in state-based elections. Mm. That's just on the technical word thing, like. Yeah. You heard what I said. No. You can interpret that. You guys are just part. salty. It, that's like <laughs> producing just being here to vote in say isolation. You should be a. Guys, this is like what we were talking about, and we all agree that we need to have like like rough limits on like who can vote. And now that we've been like, yes, you should have that's that. You guys are like, no, no. You guys are the one. You guys are the one. Can a crow vote? Can a crow vote?